The son of Ogle will lie once. He will perhaps do this again. Next time, more than one may die. The people survive by keeping close together. One person who brings danger to the people is an enemy to all. The tribe must protect all from this one. Will my father not speak for his son? The council decides Ashla will be banished from the tribe. He will go out on the plain alone and on foot. He will take with him neither weapons nor food. The council will send out messengers to all the tribes that they will not help someone who is banished from the people. Ashla is never to return. The grizzlies on the plain wait for Peshla. The long claws, not the knife of Ogle, shall determine death or life of Peshla. Peshla shall live and not die on the plain. Will the people permit him to return? No one banished ever lives to return. shall live. Perhaps the grizzlies say I and the son of Olepi shall not forget one another. Nor I and my father will kill me with his own knife. Please, sir.
also a good fight. Eyes deceive me. Perhaps the sun blinds your rain. No, my father. I. I cannot kill her. Kill the sacred whites, and our people will never go hungry. I have hunted at your side since I am a boy. Have I ever before held back my arrow? There's more to being my son than hunting. I tell you to join the warrior societies, yet you stay away from them. I tell you to follow in my path. You say you cannot yet find it. Now, you discover a sacred white and you will not kill her. I cannot kill the sacred white. I do not know why. Only that I cannot. If you wish to follow in my path, you will think of more than yourself. You will think of our people. That which brings good to not one, but to all. The first time when I'm a boy, you say, do not call the hunters. Tell no one. Why will I see the sacred white a second time? Why am I not able to kill her? I ask a question, I wish an answer. Perhaps the sacred white comes to a blaze on the marteau, bringing a message, and not her hide. If there is a message, how will I know it? By the number most sacred to the people, four. I know only if you see the sacred white humpback four times. It will be a moment greater in the history of the people than any before, even more important than meat. It may point to the survival of the people in the seasons ahead. Why will I be chosen for this message? I who can do nothing to please my father. I who am someone uncertain of his own path. From this day on, neither your father nor I decide the path you will follow. If I am not to be my father, who will I be? The sacred white humpback. Something not every generation sees. Decides your path. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Olepi, friend to the Shahila. I am Miyaka, son of Wisha. Miyaka. Thirty and two of our young men killed by Pasar arrows. I and my father wounded. My father died by leading his people here. Our people camped by the Muddy Creek with no warning the Pasa attack us. For two sons, fathers and young men stand away the enemy, protecting the women, children, and the old people. When at last the Pasa cannot win, they take our horses and go away. The Muddy Creek runs red with Shahila blood. Pasar arrows. Arrows of iron. The Pasar trade with the white men for iron pots. Then they break apart these pots to make arrows. The arrows that kill your father and the young men come from two enemies. The Psa and the white man. My father dies by leading his people here. Not to ask for your grief. But to ask our Matu friends to join in revenge against the Pasar. I will strike the war pole. I will paint my face. I will lead this revenge. <laughs> the anger of our Shahila brothers is the anger of us all. I will revenge the Shahila dead. It is this I find I will kill. <laughs> This fight is good for our sons. Their blood needs warming in battle. Who is she? The same young woman who catches your eye. Her name is Hayatuan. After this fight, I intend to know her well. I understand revenge means killing anyone who is saw. Yet I ask, why do we not hunt only those killers who attack Wisha and the Shahila? The Psa punish their own for stealing horses and killing enemies. If I go out killing any Psa I see, will all our young men die for what I do? My son cannot change what has always been and what will always be. He cannot change the ways of war. If the Psa go unpunished for these killings, who next may be killed? I, you, Ogleton, where? The relatives of Hushte and Wanagi? How many of our young men may die in these attacks without revenge? And no warrior would let the enemy say the Mato and the Shahil are old women who hide in their lodges. All Psa will be punished for what the young men do. I will ride with my father into battle. Kill or be killed.
this thing. I speak knowing my power. I know something, and so you will eat. I know something, and so you will walk. You see mystery in my power. I see honor goes to the man who kills. Greater honor to the man who heals. I and my friends travel to the Shio camp among the great Butte. We seek Mato permission to cross your trails. I welcome the Shio to visit and feast with our Mato and Shahila friends. Tonight, we celebrate a great victory over the Ta. We have traded with the white man high up the muddy river. <laughs> when will these whites stop using river trails that do not belong to them? Do we ever run out of rivers? Who carved this man's face? Not Ta, not Omaha. It was the sickness. A white man's sickness. Where the Shio choose to trade with the white man, the Mato will not. <laughs> Go pinch your face like the other young women. There's nothing for you here. My husband knows who pleasures him most. I only look for a gift that pleasures me. I will look for you in the dance circle. I will also look for my true wife in the dance circle.
sorry my friend is not able to dance before you. You speak for yourself or for your friend? My friend wishes to know you better. As do I. I am called a blazer. My friend, Tonwea. I am named Hayatman. Warriors give this horse to Alepe, a horse who is not for war, but a horse to honor someone who has been brave in war. Let the eyes of all the people see Alepe, born the warrior who lives always the life of the warrior. You're not with the other women. I wish you to give me up as your wife. If you will permit me, I desire to leave this camp. Perhaps you see more in a white man's looking glass. Do you see it? Pete? I wish to leave now. This night. I see the motto honor my husband. I hear the people sing his name. Only once am I prouder to stand at his side. It was in the season of the yellow leaf moon. I see a man, the people call Olepi, stand before my father. Someone stands beside Olepi. Someone slender and quiet and adoring. Someone who has reached ten and six winters. I hear Olepi ask my father that he will take me as his wife. This man will call me Mitawan. 
this man, I will call husband. This man, I call husband. I shall love for all seasons I live. Nagi's medicine gives new strength to a young heart. I wish to bring my robe to your lodge. So. A blazer falls off as well as he rides. <laughs> Perhaps I begin a new custom between Mato and Shahila. you will advise me. I... I, uh... I need help. Woman medicine. A weasel foot to wear. Perhaps you will also advise me to... two needles of the spruce to... assure her true feelings for me. You wish a love potion. Perhaps a blend of roots tied to a stone. Only needles of the spruce. Enough. Take a rope. Find a flute. Be yourselves. Be gone with you. Out, 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 out. I must share something, my sister. Ooh, so serious, little one. I had a dream about your blazer last night. She has not chosen this one yet. Besides, 
I think it's Tonwea she favors. Do you wish to tell me of this dream? I could not. <laughs> I would be too embarrassed. Then what is there to share? Did you have feeling for a blazer? I have eyes. I see you gaze longingly at him. And what if I choose Tonwea? The choice is your own. I do not look longingly at a blazer. <laughs> it is not true. <laughs> Either way, little sister, Hayato wants choice may become our husband as well. Some say I am slow to choose a wife. Someone who waits is someone others perhaps go for. Which one is that? He bring gifts. Suppose a young man bring a woman before he gifts her father with horses. We can wait no longer. Just think of taking a wife. We will ask that you choose one of us to be your husband. Here. Now. But neither of you tells me to choose. If I decide to wait, I will. Someone who waits is someone others perhaps call slow. What more will you ask? We have shared the room, played the flute. I will ask no more. I will choose between two brother friends. Always remember, call my friend, the scout who honors me by asking that I become his wife. If he will have me as his wife, I will call a blazer my husband. To my brother friend and his wife, if ever it is needed, I pledge my life.
is true. I own but one horse. I own three daughters. Yet I own robes, a fine bow and arrows, moccasins and other hides. And my horse, I will offer these and more, you ask. In exchange for gifts, a young man who calls himself husband to one of my daughters may call himself husband to all of my daughters. I seek a wife, not a war party. He is the son of Olympi, a Mata war leader. I too am a leader. If you marry one of my daughters, it is a Shahila custom, you may marry them all. I ask only a young woman of the Shahila become wife to a Mato. I wish always to own her smile. I, I wish you to know what I feel for Hayata when I also feel for her family. I will be your protector, if you so desire me. A protector only, not a husband. But my daughters approve. I will approve. I will come to your lodge only when my sister and her husband invite me. My sister speaks my thoughts. Hey, out the wind shall carry the pipe to the motto. Grandfathers say you will start new. I take a woman as a wife. Is this not new enough? Start new. You wish a second person in your life, start again. What will my father friend have me do? Start again. Clear the way. Throw out everything. Make yourself newborn. Be a new person. What woman takes a new husband who owns nothing? Give everything away, even your horse. I have promised her family gifts. Many gifts. My robe. Give away your robe. All thoughts not your own. This woman is special. She leads her family to the herds. Give away what you wear. No covering for your lodge or your body. No moccasins for your feet. All others who take a wife receive gifts. Why must I give away everything and receive nothing? Your path is different than all other men. The grandfathers say a blazer follows the path. No others will travel. Seasons ago, a boy returns from thirsting and hungering to a ledge. He paints a vision picture for his father friend. Now you must see the picture I paint you. I paint my own pictures. Do as I say. You will be newborn. I decide this.
good to be generous. Pretty soon to be married. Does he reject our daughter? Why does he do this? Take our sister as his wife now. I give this horse to the family of my brother Frank. Go back. Take with you all that is left of what I own. You bring shame upon yourself coming here. Is there shame to offer myself as a gift to all you throw away? Before a blazer stands the gift in a second person. I am here and I am alone. And I have nothing. You're not alone. This day I choose to begin my life over again. I wait all my life for the touch of one man. This day I stand before him. You see me as more than I am. I see in you the vision of a child. The child I desire to bring forth. I will call this man my husband. I know only this man shall plant the gift of his seed in me. He shall not take me. But I shall never know a man.
Moscow Trail. We will ride out and greet this Omaha with our lances. Perhaps a brother friend will find a horse and weapons for one who gives everything away. <laughs> <laughs> My brother friend needs no lance for only four enemies. <laughs> 